Hey, what's up? It's me, Doc, from SampleKings.com. You know us. Anyway, MPC STEM should be coming soon. Today is March 21st. They said sometime in March, right? And there has been no indication that it's going to be late yet. But I've heard people saying it could be delayed. Now, if it's delayed, I understand that. I still hope it's going to come in March. But no matter what, you should be prepared for it coming. And you should understand the concept behind it. And you should figure out that some of these stems aren't going to work perfectly. What we have to do now is sort of wait, but not really. We need to prepare before the MPC stems gets here. Now, by preparing, I mean I've done a lot of lessons with guys who have come to me and want to get some lessons online. I want to thank all you guys for doing that. And I've seen a lot. I've seen unorganized folders, unorganized files, guys who don't write the names down of some stuff because it's in the same folder, but they don't write down the name of that sample or whatever. You're going to need to make sure you have a record that's probably a sample, make sure you have that in a folder, and have the stems in another folder around it, right? Have your stems labeled for each folder. It's important to be organized. Now, of course, as we saw the stems program roll out here with Akai, it was kind of cool. Make sure records are clean, of course. Prep your machine up, make sure cables are proper. Understand the concept of actually sampling with stems. It's a brand new era, obviously. And also, it's gonna be five different parts that have come from that record, or from some sort of cassette tape you got. Or if you try to assemble from the internet, you got drums, bass, the music, and you got the vocals. Now, some of it may not be as clean, particularly when trying to get stems from like something off of YouTube. Now, the really important thing here about stems is not just being organized, but also understanding the concept. The concept of gating out frequencies. I want to gate out the drums. I want to get out everything else and just have the bass line. Now, before I continue, I want to say thanks for everybody that's come through and actually wanting to get lessons and getting lessons. And also, thank you for also subscribing and liking my videos. Now, I have a lot of videos on here that are actually instructional videos with ridiculously, I mean, maybe five, six, seven hours. Not really seven. More like about four or five hours worth of instructional videos on one device. Only because we found that people like that and it's one thing you can go back to as a reference. So, please check out our videos for the MPCs. There'll be a link down below in this video. Now here they're sampling, and then once they stop sampling here, it's pretty simple. You press the menu button, and you're gonna hit the stems program idea. Bam, there's the sample, you check it's there, you go to menu, you hit stems, right? You get this thing where you got this, um, the samples, envelopes, lo-fi, modulation effects. The same stuff you see in the program. Pretty simple stuff. But one thing's for sure, if it doesn't work, you've got to be sure of what doesn't work and how to use it. So here, let's go back to here. This is an MPC software, right? So I've got a track right here. I'm going to play this back here. Uh, let's play this back. That's pretty cool. Now you can hear this. Now, that's just a snare drum. Watch this. No EQ. A little darker. Watch this. I gated out all those frequencies. Except for the snare drum frequency. Right? Watch this. I'm back to the snare again. I'm using a noise gate right here that comes with the MPC. So when I get a stem, if I hit something I don't like, I want to tune to that frequency. I may want to gate some noise out. I may want to come in and get a certain threshold level, a certain attack. Keep my hold here and keep my release here. Get my depth here. Right there. When you hear that first sound, it cuts through the gate. I'll come back to everyone to EQ the gate. And that sounds a little bit more high endy, right? I may come in when it get darker. I got drums here. How about hard? Not bad. But see, I'm taking one sound and using this, or actually one drum track, 
and taking this and cueing in on what I want to get out that particular track or stem. And so you need to understand the concept of stems, gating out frequencies. I may want to bring an expander with this one. I'm going to expand it out more. You hear the difference now? Now, if I want to bring the bass drum in, I'll think of it as a transient, right? Because you see a bass drum, you come to here. These big transients right here, let's close this out of here. These big transients right here, those are the bass drum. Notice I get it all that out. I'm only picking up the snare drum. That's all. Now watch this. I'll put the transients in there. Okay, we got the bass drum in there. A little punchy. But if I get rid of everything, that's what's happening with the technology. They're applying with stems. They're getting out certain frequencies. They're making sure some things stand out more than others. It's a pretty complicated process. But if it works properly, it will be awesome on all your MPC devices. But my point here is this. Understand the concept. Understand what I just did right there. That's not too bad. I have other ways to actually bring the bass out or to bring out the treble or get the vocals. You know, it's important to understand this stuff, but it's important to understand the physics of it because the physics of sound is kind of awesome. And when you get a hold of it right, you can do anything to a sample, obviously. So any questions, always hit me up. And also, look, I do lessons. You can get a lesson from me anytime you need to get a lesson. You go to our website, I got one-on-one -on -one lessons. They're only 16 bucks an hour. And if you use PayPal, it's 16.50 because PayPal does charge us funds, you know what I mean? And also, we have a link below here. If you wanna buy gear, we are also a Amazon web store, that's right. We have links down there that gets you anywhere within Amazon to get anything on recording or buy musical equipment. That's gonna make a difference. We're here to support you. So any questions, hit me up at sampleKings.com or call me or email me. Hey, look, stems are coming soon. Get prepared. Get a place to put them on your hard drive. Make sure you have your stems. It's a stems folder, right? That's important. And then that way you have the original file and the stems. You may want to resample again. You may want to try some of my technique to get it right. I'll see you in the next video. Hope it comes soon. But you will be able to join Sample Kings for free once you've actually ordered something from Amazon. It's kind of cool. And I'll be able to help you out that way too. You order something, you get back to us, we put you inside the club, and then you can just call me up or you can just email me because everything I have is online. And this way, you can get help quickly. And of course, I know that Akai doesn't have the time to support all the stuff they do. And this will help you and it will help them have less stress. So look, any questions, hit me up. I'm DocSamuelKings.com. And of course, we know Ableton Live, Studio One, Pro Tools, Logic. Who else? I guess everything else. Anything you want to learn about any kind of software, we have it all. And we understand it all. So don't worry about it. Call me up. We'll help you.